Spirals are generally regarded as beautiful, but some types are more beautiful than others. This even applies to spirals, which look quite similar. Let's look at an example. Which of these two spirals looks more beautiful? Do you find it difficult to tell the difference? Take a closer look. When people were asked this question in a study, around 80% found the upper spiral more beautiful and only around 20% the lower one. The upper spiral is a so-called golden spiral. The lower spiral is a Fibonacci spiral named after Leonardo of Pisa, also known as Fibonacci, the most important mathematician of the Middle Ages. But how can we explain the marked difference in beauty between the golden spiral and the very similar Fibonacci spiral? Let's take a closer look at these two types. The golden spiral is a logarithmic spiral that gets wider by a factor corresponding to the golden ratio for every quarter turn it makes. In addition, it grows by continuously decreasing its curvature. We can make the respective curvature apparent by representing it with colors. The Fibonacci spiral is an approximation of the golden spiral. It is created by drawing circular arcs connecting the opposite corners of squares whose size is related to the Fibonacci sequence. Now comes the critical point. Each arc has a different but constant curvature. We can make this visible again by color coding the curvature. Consequently, the curvature does not change continuously, but only abruptly or not at all. The fact that the golden spiral is judged to be more beautiful than the Fibonacci spiral supports the hypothesis that humans favor a continuously changing curvature over an abruptly changing or constant one. The clear difference in priority between the two spirals suggests that this is a universal aesthetic preference. If you are interested in more details on this topic, you should take a look at this study published in iPerception.